Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on removing noise and boosting your audio in Audacity. I'll be showing you a few tools, but first let's make a recording. Hey everybody, welcome to this lesson. This is all about cleaning up your audio, removing some background noise, and getting a nice solid volume in your audio track. Okay, and now we'll listen back to that and I'm going to turn off the fan that I was using to create the noise and listen to the track as it is and watch the levels up here in the upper right part of the window. Hey everybody, welcome to this lesson. This is all about cleaning up your audio, removing some background noise and getting a nice solid volume in your audio track. Now you noticed if you've got your speakers turned up at all and you're and you've got decent speakers or you're listening with earbuds or headphones that there is a fair amount of background noise. I do want to point out however that this track is recorded at a very nice volume level. We were hitting about minus 12 dB on our peaks and that's a good point to be hitting. So just to take note that the recording volume is pretty good. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this track. I'll mute the original. And now let's work with the copy, just so we can have that to refer back to. So an easy way to start with the noise removal is to highlight some of the noise. In other words, just highlight, you know, a, a quote, silent area. Go to Effect. Go to Noise Reduction. And then do step one, which is to get noise profile. And then select the entire track, go back to effect, go back to noise reduction. And step two is noise reduction. Just leave it on presets or you can copy my settings here, um, but the preset will work fine and hit OK. And now let's listen to this track. Hey everybody, welcome to this lesson. This is all about cleaning up your audio, removing some background noise, and getting a nice solid volume in your audio track. All right, and I did reduce the volume coming out of my speakers, so uh, you guys wouldn't hear it coming back into the microphone, so hope there isn't, hopefully there isn't too much echo. But I think you'll agree that there has been a drastic reduction in background noise. Here's our original one. Hey everybody, welcome to this lesson. And here is the one with the removed background noise. Hey everybody, welcome to this lesson. So I think that worked really well. Let's do another thing. And oops, I didn't want to duplicate both of those, just, just the second one. So now we've got a copy of our mute. Okay. Now we've got a, a copy of the one with the noise reduced. Now let's apply another tool called compressor. And compressor is going to bring fullness and body to the track. So here's what I'm going to do again. Just note the kind of shape and size of the audio waveform here. And we'll have this other one to refer to. But when I hit this thing, I want you to watch what happens down here. Okay, so I'm going to effect compressor. I've got the compressor set on the threshold minus 12 decibels, noise floor is minus 40, ratio is three to one. Again, you can use the preset. You don't need to concern yourself with what all these do. However, you can watch the video I made on how to use an audio compressor, or you can just play around with this. Uh, with your own example and see uh, how it affects your audio. So I'm going to hit OK. Watch over here and watch what happens. Boom. OK, so now look at all this level that I've got. And that is going to translate into presence and volume. So let's listen to our newly compressed audio track. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this lesson. This is all about cleaning up your audio, removing some background noise, and getting a nice solid volume in your audio track. 
Now you'll notice I was hitting very close to zero, but as long as we don't go over zero, that is okay. We want to get as close to zero as possible for the most part. Um, that way your audio is going to be as loud as other people's professional audio online. And so now let's listen to how far we've come. And we've come all the way from here. Hey everybody, welcome to this lesson. And we're now over here. Hey everybody, welcome to this lesson. So I think that sounds a lot better. It's cleaner. It's got more body and fullness to it. Uh, from here, you can go ahead, if you like, and just trim your ends. If you want, you can add a little fade out. It's up to you, but you can just go up to fade out, uh, select the beginning, maybe do a fade in. That way you don't hear the start and end of the track so much. Uh, just adds a little finishing touch. And then, of course, if I wanted to, I could also get rid of this excessive space in the middle. Um, and that's your audio. And then from here, you can export it. All right. So we've used the noise reduction tool. We've used the compressor tool. And we've done a little bit of trimming on this track to get it cleaned up, more present, and sounding the best it can sound.